Geometry 270, what are cylinders? Oh, it's him. That's a cylinder. It's like a prism, except the bases are not polygons. They're circles. See? It's got a base on this side, a base on this side. It's got a circumference, and it's got a height going this way. So if we were to unfold a cylinder, it would open up like this. We'd see the two circles as the bases, and it would end up just being a big rectangle. See? So now, if you wanted to find the area of that, you would know you'd need to find the area of the two circles in that rectangle, right? All right. Well, there's two types of cylinders. There's a right cylinder, which goes straight up and down, or an oblique one that kind of slants. Each base is on a different plane. See that? They sit on two different planes. The farther away the planes get from each other, the taller the cylinder becomes. It gets more height. All right, so now I got a bunch of cylinders to show you. My dry erase marker is a cylinder. It's got a base over here and a base over here, even though that one's got kind of a nub because of the cap, and it's got a circumference and a height. This is the cardboard from a clothing hanger from a dry cleaners. See? That is a cylinder. You can see a little hole right there. You know? It's like... You know, it's a coat hanger. Here's a cylinder from a birthday wrapping paper. Okay, you can see the opening there for the base. Okay, it's pretty long. Here's one from paper towels. It's a cylinder. And then we have a real big one. This one's got maps inside of it because I love maps. So here's the base right here. And... This is a pretty big one because it's a shipping tube. See? So those are cylinders. You've got cylinders everywhere. A tube of glue could be a cylinder. The cardboard from your toilet paper roll could be a cylinder. There's lots of things. Nail polish bottle could be a cylinder if it goes, you know, straight up and down like that. So, that is what a cylinder is, and we're going to be talking about finding the surface area for a cylinder, and we're going to be talking about getting the volume of one to find out how much this guy can hold. Okay? So I'll see you. Keep working hard, keep up the good work, and I'll see you next video. Bye!